and welcome to Besiege where today I have something a little special for you guys and what I have is this baby Payazzo or Payazzo as it's probably translated somehow I can't pronounce it but here we go it's a game about uh, putting the balls in the holes like some other games you might know uh, actually what comes to mind is the Japanese pachinko but the uh, payato is a little bit of a different type of game but it's fully functional and let me just show you how to play it and to do so I need to drop the uh, time maybe around there the reason being this the block amount on this baby is huge but let's go ahead and play so I basically have two buttons one for flicking the balls the, for the flickers and one for inserting more credits so to say so the aim is to get the ball in the holes any holes will do and what seems like an easy task might turn out to be quite hard see there once again one of those near misses which frankly make this game a ton of fun it's an old old game uh, 100 years old I believe a uh, German German game with an Italian name Payazzo meaning a Italian style clown I believe and it was adopted by Finnish Finnish people and Finnish companies where we still make and play these games to date oh no mm. no luck today the game itself is like you can see skill based and getting the uh, score scoring points is actually a little difficult maybe there's an optimal way of doing this but at least with the, with the actual actual game there are some actual professionals and even they can't manage to win every time not even close so the game itself is actually played with real money and the uh, the balls you see here is are su substituted with coins you insert coins somewhere around here and they go back here and then they become playable they are used like as both credits and like the playing playing balls sort of and you can obviously score points by getting getting the uh, getting the coins or or in this case the balls through the uh, gates or you can lose by not scoring the points of obviously and in the actual game the uh, lost points or lost coins will go down here and then uh, scoring points will actually release those coins back to you to the winning tray so that's a run played so let's take a look at our machine it's not a very complicated one just took a lot of time and effort to build um, basically you have the uh, credits and balls here which you would you would pay for if this was the real game 
and then you have the flicker and the uh, credit you are currently using or in this case the ball then the gates or the slots you are aiming for nothing really special and here this this uh, below area here gathers the uh, lost lost credits and here is the uh, payment tray and in the actual game you will find a glass uh, it's, it's a lot thinner the uh, glass is just a, a couple of millimeters away from the game board back here uh, just just uh, wide enough to let the coins pass and bounce around and in the back finally we just have these kind of funnels for the balls so that they don't fly off here and just in general some structure to hold it together so um, there you have it and it's quite fun to play um, obviously it's not like not very much like the actual game there's a ton of features missing but in any case I'm pretty happy with the result because the main element, the key element that makes this game fun, uh, the skillful flicking of the uh, coins or in this case balls is just as fun as, as with the uh, real game of course cheaper too because we are not playing for real money and there's a lot of situations where where you think you you got it you think you scored a point and and it's just a near miss which happens with the actual game a lot as well let's shoot for the back one I've come to the conclusion that this one here is the uh, hardest one to go for the middle one is relatively simple oh yeah no dice go just keep the credits coming maybe slow down just a little bit there we scored a point and just go for this one you would think because it's close by here it would be really easy but actually it's actually not just like in the real game the uh, closest one is not necessarily the easiest one and in the actual game they don't fall through the glass credits don't fall through the glass but there you have it the uh, Piazzo Piazzo game reimagined in Besiege the actual game game is produced by Finnish slot machine uh, association Rei Raha Automaattiyhdistus and it's a ton of fun to play uh, but I would I would say that this one is as well so what I'm going to do is I will try and get it available for you in the comment comment or uh, discussion section and you can you can download the game yourself and try it out and you can tell me was it fun or not at least I'm ready for another round and if the frame rate seems choppy in the video, I, I do apologize. For me, it runs uh, fine. It did run fine for me at 16% as well. But after checking the video, I noticed that the frame rate was all off once again due to this massive block amount. But there we have it the uh, Piazzo or Piazzo uh, in Besiege. I hope you enjoyed the video and I would love to see you next time and have a good one.